world of fantasy, romance, sci-fi, adventure, and more. It's time for the Author Hour, your guide to fantastic fiction, hosted by Matthew Peterson. It's a weekly visit with the masters of fiction as we meet with the top authors of today. Now, here's Matthew Peterson. You don't get magical powers and you don't get get these gifts without paying a cost for them, too. And not everyone has. Right, not something. everyone has them. Yeah. Oh, that would be a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to this school for people who are vampires and like, yeah, I, I'm just a normal vampire. <laughs> <laughs> but they all get really good hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, they tend to be very pretty, too, because... You know, as my dad said, evolution-wise, if you're a predator and you want to draw prey to you, you have to look a certain way. So Mm -hmm. as you become a vampire, you you get more attractive. Because our society likes pretty people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Why would you say that would be one of the worst things, to give someone telepathic powers? Oh, my gosh. People censor themselves all the time about what they say. Uh. And I think it would just be absolutely horrible to know what people really thought about you. Yeah, I can imagine that. I guess you would become numb. Well, when you think about all the little unkind things you think of every day, you know, like, oh gosh, her butt looks so beautiful, <laughs> or, you know, this driver ahead of me is a total idiot, or, gosh, if this woman doesn't stop talking, I think I'm just going to scream and walk away. You know, all those little thoughts, if we could all hear those, this would be a terrible world. I've been interested in monsters since I can remember. I remember at five begging my grandmother to let me stay up late and watch the Creature Feature Hour on our local television station and staying up in the dark by myself until it got too scary and I'd have to run and jump into the covers. (laughs) I've always been attracted to monsters and frightening things. I don't know why. I think you're right. The vampire is the new bad boy and most of them are handsome and very sexy and they fall in love with you and sweep you off your feet. Mine don't so much. Anita doesn't really want to be swept off her feet. Mary would be fine with being swept off her feet, but there just hasn't been time between assassination attempts and solving mysteries to really be pretty much swept off her. <laughs> the Vampire Diaries is really having a comeback. Well, what was your first reaction when you found out that they were going to do a TV series? Well, I found out by stages, of course. First, you hear that maybe they'll do it. They take an option on it. So I, at every stage, I just said, calm down, calm down. You know, <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. And now that they've just told me that they were doing a full season of filmings, then I allowed myself to say, yippee! Yippee! (laughs) There might be a next season, too. Actually, I had to buy a TV for this. I heard that. I heard that you didn't really have a TV plugged in or anything. (laughs) I I had to actually buy one and get the cable and get the guy to come in and turn it on and all that. Yeah. (laughs) Just put it on that channel. All I have to do is turn the TV on 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 Thursdays. (laughs) 